Hello there. Today we're gonna tie this CDC stickleback, which is a nice imitation for especially Ceram brown trout in the sea, of course, but also for, of course, um, brown trout, shore, rainbow trout, all predatorian fish. So let's tie it. I use a Orex NS. 122 size 6 for this and for the thread is a Semperfly Nono Silk 50 denier color white and for the tail and also for um, of course the body I use uh, three different colors of uh, CDC but for the tail, I only use one of these, and that's the color uh, which is called Olive Blue Dun. And the tail is around uh, half the size of the body. I tie these down just to get a nice taper of the body. Like this. And then I do a dubbing loop. And I go with the thread to the hook bend. And then I will do the body of the fish. This is iced up, the color Mino Pearl, Pearl Black. You can of course use some other pearl or mix your own flash dubbing in some way. But this is a really nice color, especially for this pattern or many Mino patterns. And I leave around two millimeters to the hook guy. And then for this, for the body of this fish or what to call it, I use three colors of um, of CDC, and those colors are dark gray khaki is this and then uh, white and then also this as I have as a tail the olive blue down and you want kind of long feathers because you're gonna get them together and then um, uh, cut them with sort of a magic tool or likewise that was the olive blue down and you put the three feathers you pair them up doesn't matter in what which you begin with but you have those three feathers together and you pull your fingers down so you spread them and then you use some kind of this tool this is a CDC uh, tool but you can also use uh, the Mark Petition magic tool or yeah if you have something that is kind of similar this is so you can get those fibers in this one. And then you put them in your dubbing loop. You don't need any wax, but you can use it if you want to. Spread them a little bit. 
like this and then just twist it up and you can use your uh, dubbing brush just to get the fibers out for a bit and then you rip this over the body so you get uh, even spread and then attach it with the thread like that and then I will finish And you use your dubbing brush again to both pick out the fibers of the CDC but also for the flash and if you think the fibers are a bit, little bit long you can just take your thumb and your fingers to Pull some of the fibers, or you can also use your scissor just to cut it a little bit, sort of like that. And then you want some eyes, of course. And I use four millimeters for the eyes or 3D eyes, doesn't matter. You can also use flat eyes if you want to, but. Um, I use uh, this um, 40 eyes and I use a UV resin just to get them there. You can also use a uh, super glue or something this is just for the first attachment And you want this to be a kind of a light fly, so you don't want to do overdo the head with UV resin. I just put some resin between the, those eyes to lock them. Because you want this fly to hoover when you fish it. So if you have too much UV resin, it will just like dive too fast. So, perfect, perfect. I will just do some more just because it's fun. You can see some of the flash has a little bit of UV fluorescent to it. And then to make it even sexier, I use a black marker pen for the tail just to mark it up a little bit like that. That is really not important, it's just for your own eye. So there you have it. The CDC stickleback. Tight! And please subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up if you like it, if you want to see more stuff like this. Thank you!